volatile means compiler should not do any optimization on it so that it will be kept untouched because any real time value like printer port and anything to computer it is carried out by volatile keyboard so any volatile like here volatile pointer port port address is x30 so volatile you just remember Whenever you want to your program, you are writing an embedded C program. Like you are writing a program on, say, any embedded C program, say, anything. So you should write this port address and all these things. You should not be optimized by compiler, and it should be uh, there be volatile people. So I can ask this question to either please look at. Okay. These things I have repeated. This is the one one thing I have already done. It. Now this thing, start. This is this. This is the orientation of object oriented programming the first thing is address this is the what is address here and what is the data type what is the template and what is the data type yes just sure. the template there is no actual object on it and it will be like can name 30 can string 40 unsigned login pin pin code and these are actual the variables of type struct this Okay. Okay. Well, you can separately write a word like star. You can separately start editor. This you can make another separate line. Like I can make it another line like start, start, editor, editor. I say a info. It is another line. This a info will be type editor. What is the type? Yes. Sir, what is this struct? Like struct is, struct is a typical combination because everything, say our records, everything it is struct. Like you have a first name, last name, you have other number, you have a password number, you have data part, everything is a structure. structure. So it is a yes. In computer, basically garbage in and garbage. Garbage in generally, data is generally 99% is structured. This, this is the ideal way, and whenever we add a function to the, then we call it a template called class, and that is the C. That is a more powerful programming than object oriented programming. Right now, we are in processing and programming. Process and object oriented programming, you can create a class. Like, I am writing a teacher class, and SRC is the object of teacher class. You are an object of a student class. So you are you are basically class of 2025 CAC. Then you are you are each and every an object. You are of an object, and you have a first name, last name, other card, your mobile phone number, your email, all this. These are the structure. So if you had inbuilt some function, you call method, then we call it a class. That is a different function. That is the more powerful function. That is still object oriented programming where we program as if we, that is a real value. It is easier to program. And procedural programming input all the computation, how to make computation in your process. There is a difference. One is object oriented programming, that there we can first encapsulation, we can create a abstraction. First, we create abstraction like I am SSC, I, I can be abstracted to human level, you are student. Can extract to human level, we human all our first name, last name, date of birth. Then, student class have a 12 plus result field value, and teacher class have more qualification. Teacher can teach, and then higher study. Yes, but actually, human class is basically extra class. Then, I can extend the class uh, teacher and student, and they can do the deals. These are called object oriented programming. This is very helpful to program the real life scenarios. It is much better than procedural programming. Procedural programming, you can only abstract only address address level, but not input method level. So that day on Monday, I'll, or next day, I'll try to touch the C topic. But this is chart address, and this is a template, and this is a address. 100 means I have a 100 this type of this. Yeah. Okay. Sir, so what is this yeah. B into C into and all that? B into where? 
इन्फो इन्फो सॉरी बी दिस इज द टाइप ऑफ स्टार अच्छा दिस एड्रेस इन्फो इट दिस इज स्टार या बी इन्फो आल्सो दिस इज स्टार सी इन्फो आल्सो दिस इज स्टार सो थ्री कैरेक्टर हियर इट्स ओनली वन एंड हियर इट्स अ एरे यू कैन क्रिएट एरे एंड यू कैन क्रिएट अनदर अंडर एंड अंडर टू एरेस static and then uh, call the function from another portal then what will happen i don't know this is the static the function definition see the definition and then the body will come both the case the same this static means whichever file it is there the function is available viewable callable by that that file in that file this function is not available to the outside so if you do not put up static the function is callable from outside C function. Okay. And one thing is, but if it's a static variable, that means that that is a partially global variable. It's different. Static variable means if it's a within a function, the static variable means the function keeps its value between its points. Okay. And outside means that is uh, reserve space is at your global. The static is different. And this is a structure type. And any question you have this, what are the question? Uh, any data type, say I have a data type like E, I want, I can have a dimension 10 by 10, 9, 5. These are all integer in this order. And this is, this is there. Any pointer, I can access the pointer also there. And I know, okay, that's any question, any one question? In switch case, yeah. break and exit are not the same. No, 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 break is different, exit is different. Break means you break that from a particular switch case. And that will be used. Exit means you totally exit from the program. Fine. You go to the operating system. So exit should be used only in very rare cases. Whenever you are in error, then you can, otherwise you should be used. You break and otherwise return. Not in exit. Exit means emergency exit. And that will go to the Operate. return. Exit, return type is void exit. So exit is the always uh, should be used sparing. Any question? Any question? No more questions? You should have question. Any? Thank you.